In this video we're going to have a look at the causes, consequences and responses to Hurricane Ida which occurred in 2021. So how did Hurricane Ida get its name? Um, the National Hurricane Centre has lists of names that are given to the different hurricanes that occur. So if we have a look here, the ninth hurricane of the 2021 season um, is Ida. You can see here six lists of names going up to 2026. Uh, these same names are rotated and recycled and used again and again and again. Unless there's one hurricane which is so strong and does so much damage, it's felt that that name can only go with that one event and then the name isn't recycled again. Hurricane Ida began as a tropical wave in the Caribbean Sea on August the 23rd. It then travelled westward until it came near to Grand Cayman and that's when it developed into tropical storm Ida on August the 26th. It then headed further towards the northwest before hitting Louisiana with its full force 150 mile per hour winds and at this stage it was a category 4 hurricane on August the 29th. It then did a bit of a U-turn headed up towards the northeast states of the USA um, before slowly petering out. So how was Hurricane Ida caused? Well, you've got the Caribbean Sea being over 27 degrees centigrade. And because the ocean is so warm, huge amounts of evaporation is taking place, um, putting water vapor into the air. The ocean temperature heats up the air which is above it, and this causes this air full of water vapor um, to rise rapidly into the sky. As air moves upwards, other air is sucked in from the trade winds to fill the gap which is left by the rising air. Um, this creates the really strong winds that occurred. Um, air that is, the air that is rising, um, the water vapour within the air will cool, condense and moisture forms in the form of large clouds, those cumulonimbus clouds giving us the torrential rains. As air rises, it cools down. Um, generally speaking about every hundred meters the air rises it becomes one degree centigrade colder and cool air sinks rather than rises and you get this area of high pressure the cool air sinking within the eye of the storm. There were many consequences of Hurricane Ida and in this video we're just going to have a look at a few of them. Firstly, you get extreme wind. Extreme winds of 150 miles per hour maximum destroyed buildings, tore down trees and crops and damaged transport networks. Secondly, there's extreme rain. Um, three inches of rain per hour fell in some of the parts of northeast of the USA. The water poured into subway stations in New York City and streets flooded up to the rooftops of cars in Philadelphia. This image here shows a car within Philadelphia, um, as you can see, incredibly dangerous for the driver and potential causes of loss of life. Finally, we get a storm surge. All a storm surge is, is waves coming in from the sea. Um, the sea has been lifted up because of low pressure and those extremely strong winds blowing over the top of it. And waves 9 to 12 feet high, submerged buildings, crossed over levees, trapped people in their attics and on their roofs. Um, this surge of water was so powerful it pushed up certain rivers like the Mississippi and you could actually see the water flow reverse for a short amount of time. The economic impact of Hurricane Ida was huge. It cost over $65 billion because of property damage, the impact of lost work and a decrease in tourism. Unfortunately, a total of 115 people died. Um, including 95 in the U United States and 20 in Venezuela. One man was mauled by an alligator after walking through floodwaters. Two electrical workers died um, while repairing a power grid and four people who died in New Orleans um, as a result of carbon monoxide poisoning while using generators with inadequate ventilation. Now again, the government and aid agencies have put in lots and lots of responses to Hurricane Ida. Um, here we're just going to have a look at a few of them. National Guard members were deployed um, to help with recovery efforts. 
Um, Joe Biden declared um, a major disaster had occurred, which allowed for extra funding. Um, high water vehicles, 70 rescue boats, 30 rescue helicopters were sent to help people who were flooded and also to rescue people from homes where they were trapped. In the northeast, states of emergency were declared in New York as well as in New Jersey. Um, classes were cancelled um, in um, schools and an airport was closed due to flooding. That's the Newark Liberty International Airport. Obviously there were flight delays and um, widespread flooding occurred. The US government paid for more than 25,000 electrical crews and linesmen from 30 states to instate power to areas that were affected. And Joe Biden said the Federal Communications Commission would launch a cooperative framework agreement among wireless carriers so that people are able to use the roaming services of any company um, during the hurricane and the few days afterwards. Thank <laughs> you.